Hey guys, Pipe Stash here. Coming to you from my car after work. I know I've been kind of MIA lately, but uh, a lot of things have been going on with um, wedding planning and weather and work and people quitting and different things. And um, so. Uh, just wanted to do a little video today, um, kind of a first impressions video of uh, actually a new blend from Boswell's. I was very, uh, very excited to try. Um, I was actually, I didn't even know about it until the other day. I was on there looking, I've been, I've been trying to snipe a, a uh, can of the and I'm probably going to say the number is wrong because I kind of am dyslexic with that. Um, 1792 Flake um, by Samuel Galbraith. And I've been wanting to try um, that blend for a while. I'm really into flakes, especially during the winter uh, for some reason. And I just have been wanting to try that blend for a while now. Um, I hear everybody kind of talking about it. It's a Lakeland blend. It's a flake. Um, and uh, so I ordered some of that um, hopefully I'm going to do a review of that uh, at some point here probably from my car again because it's cooler than crap outside right now it's negative 5 but it was negative 17 one morning um, and it's been snowing constantly uh, here in South Dakota so um, yeah I also ordered uh, my other one I ordered was um, some more St. Bruno's. I love that stuff. Uh, I had the ready rubbed and I wanted to try the flake this time. They had a tin of the flake available so I bought both the uh, 1792 flake and the, the uh, St. Bruno's ready rubbed. I already know I like the ready rubbed but I wanted to see if there was any difference in taste so I might do a little review on that. But yeah. Um, got my Mike Jones pipe that I primarily use for um, smoking Latakia in. This is my lat pipe. Um, I primarily only smoke Latakia in this pipe and I will not smoke any kind of other um, blends in this. Um, definitely no aromatics, but this baby smokes Latakia like no one's business and um, it tastes amazing just because the chamber is huge. Uh, literally, probably, it's a th almost a three knuckle. <laughs> so, uh, chamber is probably a, almost over an inch in this thing. So, um, I found that a larger bowl actually will make Latakia blends taste a lot more full body and a lot more flavorful. So I only smoke Latakia blends in large bowl pipes, uh, large chamber pipes. I would consider this to be, if I was going by JM standards, a jumbo pipe. Um, what he would consider a jumbo pipe for the bowl size. Uh, so the blend, the new blend that they came out is actually an English, but I would consider it an English crossover blend. Military Force. It's brand new. Um, JM's been working on it for a while now. Um, and uh, right now you can only order um, this in two ounces at a time on the website. You can't do a single ounce of anything, I don't think, um, unless you call in. You can call in uh, to Rachel and at Boswell's and um, ask her to uh, get an order up for you for an ounce of this if you want to try it out. I recommend trying it. Um, it is a Latakia blend with Burley and I think there is some Cavendish in this as well as I when I was breaking this up I was getting some really gnarly black pieces in here that kind of looked like Perique but I didn't really get any kind of a tingle in my nose when I smoked it, so I'm not really sure if it's Perique or not. 
I think there's definitely definitely burleys in here. I can definitely see the burley in here, um, which tends to make this blend a little bit wet uh, when you get it. Um, not sopping wet. Uh, I think stuff and things would call it um, moist towelette. <laughs> I don't have a I don't really have a, a moisture content gauge. So if you watch Bradley at stuff and things, that's what I would say the moisture content on this when I got it and like I said I think it's just because it has a topping on it um, some kind of topping so it's a crossover I would say like I said before it's I think it's a crossover blend um, right off the bat when you light it up it doesn't really taste uh, like a Latakia blend you get a little bit of smokiness um, you definitely taste the burleys right off the bat. Um, and you get this aromatic taste um, that I haven't quite pinpointed yet. I need to smoke at least another bowl or so of this before I can do uh, can get that flavor down um, in my in my brain. But just to throw something out there, I don't know if it's a vanilla or if it's a rum. It's definitely sweet, uh, whatever it is, some kind of a sweet topping. And it could be that it's just the natural taste of the um, Cavendish and the Burleys mixed together in here that he has uh, in this blend. Um, definitely a chunky blend. <laughs> if I had to call it anything, it's definitely very chunky. Um, with those the cube burly uh, but his burlies that he gets in um, are very good uh, compared to the quality of burly that you get with some of the over-the-counter blends um, which some of them I enjoy um, but you definitely it's definitely a high very high quality um, burly and the the flavor profile on this, like I said, starts out sweet. Um, you get kind of a nuttiness from the burley. Um, you get almost a vanilla, I would say, if I had to name the topping, or some kind of a sweet rum flavor uh, on this. It's definitely not uh, heavy um, by any means. Uh, don't let the, uh, the force, the military force... Um, <laughs> name scare you into thinking this is going to be like super harsh i think this is a good blend for people uh, who are maybe wanting to try latakia blends or get into latakia and kind of get your toe in the water and see if you like them uh, and you already smoked some aromatics um, because it's a very good crossover i would say um, if you primarily smoke aromatics and you want to get into smoking or trying a uh, lot of Kia blend, uh, I'd say Military Force is a good good one to start with. Um, and I'm not sure how new it is, but I'm I'm guessing since I was on their website last week that it just came out um, for sale on their website. Uh, so head over to Jam Boswell's. Uh, on their website, or if you just want an ounce of it, um, it's around five dollars and something. Uh, I don't pay tax um, for tobacco from Pennsylvania here in South Dakota, which is nice. Um, so I'm not sure what the uh, the flat rate. I think for shipping was like around uh, nine dollars or something like that. But I'm not sure what the the tax is going to be like for some of you guys living out and. Um, Canada or in the UK, uh, but uh, actually, that just reminded me, um, they're not currently with uh, with restrictions on tobacco right now. Um, I don't think they're allowed to ship to the UK right now, if I saw correctly on their website, but don't quote me on that. Uh, I'd say maybe about a quarter of the way through this bowl, which is, this bowl's huge. Um, this blend started getting more Latakia tasting. So I would say this blend is pretty complex um, because the flavor changes a lot 
as you're smoking it. it starts out soft, sweet, um, a hint of Latakia in there, nuttiness. Um, then it goes into uh, what I would say uh, more of a traditional um, traditional English taste uh, with where you're getting that, that real smoky Latakia flavor. Um, but then after that, it kind of turns into like you get more of your like a dark chocolate flavor. Um, still have some of the nuttiness from the burley. The, the uh, burleys kind of have a deeper flavor um, partial way through. So I'm about halfway through this bowl, but a normal bowl I probably would have been done by now. Um, so I can't really base it off of this bowl, but. Um, but yeah, so uh, I would say it starts out light, comes in with the sweetness, hits a little bit with uh, the smokiness, and then at the end you have your your more of a sweet, earthy, dark, um, vanilla, like dark vanilla flavor, uh, and it just keeps kind of evolving. So I might come back and do another review when I've had a little bit more. This was just my kind of a first impressions on Military Force. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Like I said, I had a lot of things going on right now. Um, and uh, enjoying um, just working and uh, wedding planning and things like that, hanging out with my fiance. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a short, short video um, for you guys to watch uh, on a new blend from Boswell's Military Force, and um, be looking for some other reviews here. I might do a re review on the uh, the 1792 Flake, um, which is a lot a uh, Lakeland blend, and then. Um, I might do a review on the other flake, the St. Bruno's uh, flake, just because it's it's different than looks different than the Ready Rub. Not sure if it was going to taste different. Sometimes flakes smoke a little differently, have a little better, deeper flavor than um, when you rub it out. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. We will talk to you in the next one.